John here guys and today we're talking about the Callus Machine Works Bang God 5 inch DJI edition. Now uh, yes I have covered the Bang God on the channel already. That one was a 6 inch though and that was analog so I wanted to compare and contrast some notes on making another one of these up with the DJI system. In my opinion this is one of the top two or three frames that you should be flying if you're on freestyle for the DJI system and that is because it is purpose built to be able to accommodate the Vista unit or the air unit like you can see right here. Um, this is really beefy, really robust. I've used some new build tricks in the arsenal for this, part of which is to have the CL Racing um, LED race wire things on here, covered that with some of that cloth Tessa tape. Everything goes together. I'm using the T-Motor DJI um, flight controller once more. Love that for the DJI system. This works perfectly with both the DJI system and Crossfire. You can see I have my Immortal T on there. On the bottom, we have these really, really handsome looking CL Racing LEDs right here. This LED race wire type stuff just makes a freestyle build or a racing build look so incredibly nice. I just can't believe um, for you know seven eight bucks you can really add that versatility and then you also have the versatility of being able to change a motor so easily if you're going to be bashing that let's check a look take a look at the lights i'm going to plug this in real quick you see that oh man let's take a look from the bottom Those race wire lights look absolutely stunning. Now, the other thing I really like about the Bang God is that the community is so in love with this frame. They have designed a myriad of great prints that help you whether you're gonna be running analog or DJI. So Catalyst actually designed this 3D printed bulkhead. Now the whole camera front cage thing actually floats on this, so the Rigidity is added by the front brace, but it's sort of floating, so it gives you a little bit of impact um, absorption if you ever do take a crash. Now, of course, um, this thing does have the excellent camera protection. I actually need to move the camera a little bit. I have it too far forward as I'm looking at it right there. Now, I did find this really cool print that someone designed. I'll put their name on here. Um, now, what this print does is it has some vents in here. And the print actually holds the air unit in place at the back. And these vents, like kind of like a car braking system on a sports car, it directs airflow directly on to the air unit to keep it nice and cool. Those things can run hot on occasion. And so the fact that they've thought about it, it's not just sitting in there, is really gonna help you get the best performance out of it. I uh, also found this print at the back that has um, antenna holders so that these antennas are fixed. You gotta remember these is sort of a rigid antenna stock so it's gonna stay up there perfectly. It has one straight out to the back and one it's sort of like a 45 degree angle on there. Perfect, that fits just right onto the little standoffs right there if you can see. And then of course I have my crossfire receiver which I mounted in between the, everything just fits so clean. You know, here's the three inch of this thing. You gotta have these back to back, right? Oh man, the feel of this. I went with a classic uh, freestyle formula for this. This is the R6 Brother Hobby, but I'm using the classic 2306 freestyle size 1750 KV. That really gives you a lot of control, a lot of power down low where you need it for freestyle to be able to make those maneuvers and now, you know, the DJI Air Unit and the Bang God frame does mean that you're ending up with a weight that is a little bit on the heavier side compared to some of your lighter freestyle builds, but that gives you a lot of fidelity. That gives you a lot of control resolution. So if you're gonna be hitting gaps, if you're gonna be getting smooth footage, if you're gonna be doing anything that really puts the needs more on control rather than raw power, 
this is an amazing setup. Now make no mistake, these R6s still have a lot of power, but it's less so than maybe some of the gigantic motors I put on some of these freestyle builds. Maybe a little bit less of the top end uh, compared to the RCN power, maybe a little bit less than the 2407 moon boot that I tried on armor tan build, but um, if you want the freestyle type feel that has prioritized control and absolute perfection of movement. I mean, it's like you're doing a ballet dance in the air with this thing. My goodness, I love it. Now, and on 4.2 with the filters clicked over to the right, just like one click, so very conservative tune to keep everything nice and in line. These things just, it's just like you just wanna keep looking around you with how beautiful everything looks. The strength of this frame with the with the brace of its front, the floating camera section, if you know it right here, the camera plates are actually attached to a 3D printed bulkhead, which allows some flex and impact absorption. Now, if you're really gonna be bashing it up, you can get the optional rear brace. You can also raise these arms up to the top if you would like to get a little more separation of the props. I went ahead and did these on the bottom, same thing as I did on the three inch version, but that's always an option with Catalyst, which I really like. I think I'm just gonna run this like this, but you do have the option of adding a GoPro mount. I actually designed this GoPro mount just on a whim as a nice little exercise fits in there perfectly like this. I'm probably not gonna upload this because if you want a GoPro mount, go ahead and get the one from Callus. It's gonna be a little bit better than this, but designing GoPro mounts is fun on Fusion 360. If you have never done one, I highly recommend it. Check out Primitive FPV's tutorials on that. So what do you think in the comments, guys? What frames are you using the DJI system with? What frames are you freestyling with? Are you still freestyling on analog in 2020? Are you gonna make the switch? Did you buy the Father's Day DJI package like a lot of people did? If you did and you're wondering what frame you should go with, this should be at the top of your list. I'm gonna do a DJI freestyle frame roundup very soon covering what I recommend as the top DJI frames. This will definitely be in the mix. Thanks guys.